wondered how a psychopath's brain ticks, what makes them so different? Welcome to the uncharted territory of psychopathy, a complex condition that has intrigued scientists, psychologists, and even writers for centuries. This is not a journey into the macabre, but a quest for understanding. It's a deep dive into the human mind, a realm where normal rules of behavior seem to be rewritten. Psychopathy is often misunderstood and misrepresented, but it's paramount we comprehend it, not to stigmatize or fear, but to foster societal harmony and safety. We need to understand the underpinnings of these behaviors, not just for the sake of knowledge, but to create a society where everyone has a place, even those wired differently. As we navigate through the labyrinth of the human psyche, we'll unravel eight strange behaviors often linked to psychopathy. Each one a piece of the puzzle, each one a step closer to understanding this condition. So as we delve into the enigma that is psychopathy, prepare to be astounded by these eight strange behaviors often linked to this condition. First off, we have the superficial charm, a deceptive veil worn by many psychopaths. This is a trait that can easily draw people in, pulling them into their sphere of influence. Their charisma is magnetic, their allure undeniable. Yet, it's a mere facade, a tool they wield to manipulate and control. It's a charm that's as enchanting as it is treacherous. They seem so captivating, so engaging, but beneath the surface lies a darker reality. Charming, yes, but remember, all that glitters is not gold. Imagine living a life devoid of fear. For psychopaths, this is often their reality. In the mind of a psychopath, fear is a foreign concept. It's this absence of fear that often leads to a lack of caution and a propensity for risk-taking. This isn't about thrill-seeking or adrenaline rushes. It's about a fundamental disconnect from the instinctual responses that keep most of us safe. This fearlessness can lead to reckless behaviors, a disregard for personal safety, and more concerning, the safety of others. It's not that they don't understand the concept of danger, but rather, they don't react to it the way most people do. It's like walking on a tightrope with no safety net. Not because they're brave, but because they simply don't perceive the fall. A life without fear might sound enticing, but it comes with its own set of dangerous implications. This is the chilling reality for those living with psychopathy. What if you couldn't empathize with the feelings of others? This is the third strange behavior linked to psychopathy. Imagine walking in a world where the emotions of those around you hold no meaning. This is the reality for psychopaths. They often find it challenging to empathize, to understand and share the feelings of others. It's not that they can't recognize emotions. In fact, psychopaths can often identify feelings with a surgeon's precision. But what they struggle with is the emotional aspect, the ability to feel what others feel. It's like reading a book in a foreign language. You can see the words, know they hold meaning, but the true essence, the emotional depth, remains elusive. This lack of empathy often makes it difficult for them to form authentic emotional connections. They may mimic emotions to blend in, but the genuine emotional bond is missing. They remain isolated, emotionally detached from the world around them. Without empathy, the world can become a cold, lonely place. Imagine a world where truth is a rarity. Welcome to the fourth strange behavior, pathological lying. In this realm, Psychopaths often weave intricate webs of deceit, masterfully manipulating situations to their advantage. They do this with an unsettling ease, a lack of remorse that can be chilling. These untruths are not just occasional slips, but rather a consistent pattern, a strategic tool for control and gain. In the world of a psychopath, lies often hold more weight than truth. Ever made a decision on a whim? For psychopaths, impulsivity is a way of life. You see where most of us would take time to ponder, to weigh the pros and cons. For psychopaths, it's a different story altogether. It's as if they're forever on a roller coaster ride, making snap decisions, going with whatever catches their fancy at the moment. This impulsivity isn't merely about choosing a dessert on the menu or picking out a movie to watch. No, it's far more serious. It's about making life-altering decisions without a second thought, without considering the consequences. It's about diving headfirst into situations that most of us would avoid, 
causing ripples that extend far beyond their immediate sphere. The thrill of the moment, the rush of adrenaline, these are what drive psychopaths. But what they often fail to realize is that this impulsive behavior can lead to a trail of chaos and destruction. Impulsivity might seem like living on the edge, but it often leads to chaos and destruction. Narcissism and excessive self-love is another strange behavior often linked to psychopathy. Let's dive into this intriguing trait. A psychopath's world revolves around one person, themselves. They often possess an inflated sense of self-importance, which is more than just a high self-esteem. It's a grandiose self-perception, making them believe they're superior to others. It's like they're standing on top of a mountain, looking down upon the rest of the world. They feel entitled, expecting special treatment and admiration, and when they don't receive it, they may react with rage or contempt. Everything is about them, their needs, their desires. They tend to manipulate others to maintain their self-perceived superiority. They believe they're exceptional, even without commensurate achievements. It's an illusion of grandeur that can be both fascinating and terrifying. Remember, this excessive self-love is not about confidence or self-assuredness. It's about a self-centered world where empathy rarely finds a place. In the eyes of a psychopath, they are the sun and the rest of the world merely revolves around them Psychopathy is a complex condition, marked by behaviors that deviate from what we consider normal. As we've journeyed together through this exploration, we've delved into the intriguing facets of the psychopathic mind, from the beguiling superficial charm to the chilling absence of fear. We've also touched upon the stark lack of empathy, the propensity for pathological lying, the impulsivity, and the narcissism that often characterizes psychopathy. Each one of these behaviors, in isolation, can be difficult to comprehend. But when woven together, they paint a picture of a condition that is as fascinating as it is disconcerting. However, it's important to remember that these behaviors are not diagnostic criteria, but rather potential signs to be aware of. Recognizing these behaviors is not about creating a culture of fear or stigmatization, but about fostering understanding this understanding can help us create safer environments and promote empathy, even in the face of complex conditions like psychopathy. Remember, understanding these behaviors is not about labeling or stigmatizing, but about fostering a safer and more empathetic society.